Today we'll answer the question that you've probably asked yourself quite often after watching the football matches till the very end. Some players exchange their jerseys, others give shirts to random fans, while most players simply leave the pitch. So what happens to football players get after the match? Subscribe to Football Geeks and let's geek this out! Do football players wash their kits after the match? Well, they do and they do not. The situation has changed a lot over the past 20 years. Up until the end of the 90s, in all the top leagues of the world's most clubs at laundry facilities, football uniform was washed, ironed and sent back. And this worked for all clubs, including the richest ones. Today as a rule, a football player has at least three sets of kit for a game, one for each time and the third one in reserve. This rule applies to all the teams, because such requirements are stipulated by the regulations of the UEFA, FIFA and football associations. At the same time, the post-match fate of the kit depends solely on the financial stability of a professional club. For example, the club of the conditional third division of England may prohibit its players from exchanging t-shirts with the opponent after the match. But if this club plays in the FA Cup match with a more prominent opponent, then the management may allow players to exchange jerseys as an exception. That is, in more modest clubs, the fate of t-shirts is determined in advance, and the player can even be fined if he gives away or swaps t-shirts contrary to the internal rules in force. On the other hand, almost all professional clubs that compete in the top divisions of their countries receive a new uniform for each game. In modern football, not even the largest teams enter into good sponsorship contracts with kit manufacturers such as Nike, Adidas and Puma. These companies, in addition to annual payments, provide new sets of uniforms and clothing for training. On what terms, you may wonder? Well, the terms are stipulated in the sponsorship contract with each team separately. But usually, the larger the club, that is, the more money it makes for the manufacturer, the mild through the sponsorship terms are provided by this manufacturer. Obviously, everything is far simpler in richer clubs. Quite often, the used soccer kit is washed and transferred to special charity funds. Any player can also present his shirt to the fan, swap it with the opponent or keep it for collection. Moreover, the top club players change their jerseys to a new set during halftime break. The uniform change during the break is also required in the case of rain or when it has been stained. In the first case, the change is connected with the care of the player's health. In the second case, with the care of the quality of picture on TV. It is unpleasant to most spectators to look at the football players running in dirty shirts. And it is also unpleasant to sponsors if their logo is smeared with mud. Thank you for watching this episode till the end. Would you like to know more about the technical aspects of the professional club life? What about boots? Please share your opinion in the comments. In the meantime, we recommend you to check the answers to other popular questions. They are displayed on your screen right now. You've been watching Football Geeks. Subscribe to our channel and we'll see you soon.